Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jem Mint and today we have a Marvel Omnibus haul. Half of these I got from Marvel and they're early releases, books that haven't come out yet, and the rest we got from JP over at Organic Price Books. That's who I recommend if you guys are looking to pick up any collected editions, whether they're Omnis, Absolutes, Deluxe Editions, or more. And if you use code Jem Mint, it'll save you two bucks every time. With that out of the way though, let's jump into this haul. All right, guys, let's start with the Invaders Omnibus. We've got Cat vs. Namor, Human Torch on the front. Here we have the spine, Namor on the spine as well. And then we have the little thumbnails, all of the issues that this collects, which includes Giant Size Invaders 1 and 2. Then you have the 41 issue series from 1975, plus Annual 1, plus Marvel Premiere 29 and 30, Avengers 71, Invaders 1 through 4 from the 1993 volume. You get What If 4, Fantastic Four Annual 11, Marvel 2 and 1 Annual from 1976, uh, Marvel 2 and 1 issue 20 and then you have some material from Captain America comics 22 $125 cover price love the fire fade look here with human torch and Namor on the back inside of the dust jacket tells us about the creators Roy Thomas and Frank Robbins and then a biography on who the invaders are what role they played in comics during World War II and then we have this beautiful wraparound comic book panel cover also fading with the fire panels from the interiors I'm seeing Bucky Cap, Namor, and so on. We have a teal, bright teal interior cover page here. The Invaders. Here we have some credits. Table of contents, looking nice. Then jumping in with Giant Size Invaders. So you have the cover here, page numbers on the bottom. Bright, vibrant colors. That's what's so great about this format. These omnibus really bring these comics back to life. Stuff that if you were to find it in the wild, would be faded, yellowing type of pages. But here we have everything bright like the day it was pressed up. So it didn't look like it had any introduction or forward. Let's take a look at the back of the book for what kind of bonus materials. It looks like we have some covers here. A lot of World War II stuff, man. Like a lot of swastikas you're seeing on these covers and in these pages. Here we have an afterword by Roy Thomas. We have some original art with covers and pages. John Romita stuff, Jack Kirby. So some classic, look, Red Skull. Classic material here. And it's got some pages from the official handbook of the Marvel Universe going over the characters, the villains, the heroes. So that's nice to have as well. Red Raven, Subby, Toro. Some more cover art in the back. And that wraps it up for the invaders. That Spider-Man booth is an open enrollment for their February subscription box. Not only will you get five comics at random with a retail value of $100, but you'll also get two exclusives limited to this box. Both of them are Ninja Funk 1 Second Prince, the Skrillex rookie card, and the Dip rookie card variant. These are limited to 100 copies each, 50 for the foils and 50 for the medals. Again, these are only available through ThatSpidermanBooth.com via their subscription box. Check them out today. You know what's a good haul when you have Predator and Alien Omnibus. So finally, the much delayed and anticipated Predator, the original years from Marvel. Love that red spine. This is volume one. It has... Issue one and issue one from all these four issue miniseries. So that's how this is collected. Uh, you have Predator one through four from 1989, Predator two, one and two, Predator Big Game one through four, Cold War one through four, The Bloody Sands of Time one and two, Bad Blood one through four, Invaders from the Fourth Dimension, Predator Dark River one through four, Strange Row and Predator Kindred one through four. Plus it has material from the Dark Horse Presents issue 46 and 119, Dark Horse Comics 1 and 2, 4 through 7, 10 through 14, 16 through 18, and 20 through 21. Another $125 cover price. As always with the dust jacket, giving some love to the creators and a biography on Predator and where we're at in comics during this time. And a wraparound cover, beautiful artwork, straight out of the pages of those Dark Horse books. I've read some of this material and reviewed them on the channel when they were collected in the Dark Horse uh, oversized hardcovers, I believe they were, and love to see them get collected in an omnibus. Obviously, that's my favorite format. You have a beautiful kind of looks like the movie theme. Here's the table of contents with the page numbers. Jumping into issue one, so it gives us the virgin cover. The heat, yeah, the heat wave coming through. I did read and review this. Love the artwork here. I've always been a fan of Predator lore. 
I like Predators and Aliens. Uh, I just never got into the whole statue collecting aspect of the Predator stuff, thankfully, because they make so many great and expensive ones. Nice double page spread here. We're losing a little bit here, but nothing that can't be forgiven. Okay, then we jump into some black and white. You got a movie looking po uh, cover for Predator 2 issue 1. So previously uh, published and collected by Dark Horse, Marvel's got the rights. They have new ongoing series. And just like with Conan and with Alien, they are reprinting all this material in omnibus format. I'm here for it. I love it. Definitely need to read through some of these minis that I haven't read yet. I got to go back to see what I all read. Love the artwork during this time. It's very like DC Vertigo or I don't know what to compare it to Marvel. It feels more like that mature kind of vertigo stuff that we got during this time, uh, like Sandman and Hellblazer and such. All right, let's see. What else do we have in this as far as bonus materials go? All right, some beautiful cover art here. Trade paperback covers. We have some pinups, more trade covers, nice connecting covers for Cold War 1 through 4. Got just the inks on Predator 1 here. All right, so just a lot of covers and artwork. We have an article from Predator 3. And ending it with the other cover for this omnibus. Very cool, giving Sub-Zero, but I like that original Predator number one. The Thing is here with his own omnibus, John Byrne, Carlin, and Wilson. Love the dust jacket here. Nice big spine for The Thing. It suits him well. You know it's clobber in time on the back, showing every issue that's collected in here, which includes the 36 issues from The Thing from the 1983 volume. You have Fantastic Four 274, 277, and 296, Quest Probe 3, Secret Wars 2 issue 7, West Coast Avengers 10, Marvel graphic novel Hulk and Thing, The Big Change, Marvel Tales 198, and material from Marvel Fanfare 15 and Marvel Super Heroes 5. $125 cover price. The inside of the dust jacket looks nice, telling us where we're at with the thing here. This led into his own miniseries right after the first Secret Wars, talking about John Byrne, Michael Carlin, and Ron Wilson. And we have this purple wraparound cover with various images of the thing. So I recently did a read through of uh, the first Secret Wars, Marvel Superhero Secret Wars, and then I was talking about how you know it led into this thing ongoing series afterwards. Looks dope. Uh, I never got into this though. I couldn't even really get into the John Byrne Fantastic Four, and that's what everybody recommends. I don't know. It just feels a little bit dated to me. Uh, we have the table of contents here talking about the issues that we just went over. So you have the cover for Thing One. I, I, I dig the artwork. I don't know. I really need to buckle down and do a read through of those John Byrne Fantastic Fours. I have not read any of this material. I didn't realize the things ongoing went for that long. But uh, yeah, the artwork looks great, man. Love me some John Byrne. Got some Inhumans action going on here. I love how they collect every single cover as well. Look, flipping right to another one. That's how I really like the Omnis. I want to feel like I have the entire run of comics just glued together in a collected edition so the, the way this is set up the table of contents the page count the nice bright vibrant colors and art reprinted here this is probably going to be a nostalgia pickup for a lot of people uh again it was a little bit before my time but uh don't mind having it on the shelf and i really would not mind jumping into this maybe doing a read along with uh with the john byrne stuff all right, so the bonus material has some Ron Wilson pinups, house ads, John Byrne art. Got some more artwork here. Hated the thing with the tank top. <laughs> All right, so original art, just sketches and inks. So you're getting a lot of that in here. We got some scripts with a lot of coffee stains and cigarette burns. <laughs> and there we go. We got the newest printing of Deadpool and Cable with the Rob Liefeld cover. There is another variant cover here by Mark Brooks, and this one comes out on April 25th. So take a look at the dust jacket. Here goes the spine looking good. And we can see that uh, it collects issues one through 50 of Cable and Deadpool. It also has material from Deadpool from the 2012 volume, issue 27, $125 cover price. Patrick Zercher art on the back and then the interior of the dust jacket here. 
talking about Mark Brooks, Patrick Zercher, Lan Medina, Ron Lim, Riley Brown, Staz Johnson, and of course the writer Fabian Nasizia, a biography on Deadpool and Cable. So far, everything looks similar to the first printing, except for this wraparound cover. I don't believe this was on the first print. This looks way more modern. That one was an older omnibus that probably just had an all black cover or so. We have a nice light red interior. Cover page, Deadpool and Cable. Here we have our credits. No table of contents, as I guess is pretty straightforward. It starts with issue one and goes through to issue 50. I started reading this years ago when I wanted to do a review on it, and for whatever reason, I just never got through it. I want to say I got like halfway through this, though. Coming back to me as I'm flipping through it now. I honestly remember not really loving this run. This is a book that went out of print years ago, and it was always sought after because of that and was considered a whale. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little harsh on it and need to give it a reread in this day and age and see how it holds up. But um, I remember not being really too thrilled with this omnibus. As you can see, when you're dealing with Deadpool, you're going to get some zany stuff, some slapstick stuff. It's supposed to bounce off the serious tone of Cable. But here's Marvel delivering on that reprint. Just like I said, it was sold out, sought after, out of print. And now you're going to have another chance to pick this up and add it to the Deadpool or Mutant or whatever omnibus collection. It looks like there's not much bonus materials at the end here, got a pinup gallery. So Rob Liefeld, 2014 wraparound wedding cover. That's when he married death, right? And that's it for Deadpool and Cable. All right, guys. So we have the Immortal Iron Fist and the Immortal Weapons. So this is by Ed Brubaker and Matt Fraction. It's one of those Omnis that was re-released with more material. So this comes out on February 28th. This is the regular cover. Patrick Zercher did the direct market variant. Here we have the spine looks very similar to the out of print immortal iron fist which was uh just the first 16 issues so instead of just reprinting that they're re-releasing it collecting uh the immortal iron fist 1 through 27 with annual one plus it has a ton of other bonus material immortal iron fist orson randall and the green mist of death immortal iron fist the origin of danny rand immortal iron fist orson randall and the death queen of california immortal weapons one through five and the immortal weapons sketchbook plus it starts off with civil war choosing sides also have some material from I am an Avenger issue one. All of these Omnis retail to buck 25. We have a biography on Iron Fist on the left, biography of the creators on the right. And this is new as well. A new nice wraparound cover here. They've been doing that more and more when it comes to more modern material. And they still do like for Silver Age books, the classic black Omni. So I did a read and a review of the first 16 issues. It's up on the channel. I really dug it. I think I read it in like one or two days. Ed Brubaker, I love his storytelling. It opens up the same way that that other omnibus does. Don't really remember the story. I'd have to go back to the video to refresh my memory, but uh, interested to see where this picks up from that Omni and continues on that run. I don't know why they did it the way they did it. Maybe they planned to do a volume two initially and they never got around to it. And now they're just reprinting it with more material because this is where that last omnibus ends. Great story. You're getting grounded uh, real world ism with Ed Brubaker and with Matt Fraction as well, who did the Hawkeye run. So that team up was great. Here we're continuing into the stuff that has not been collected in the omnibus format yet. Yeah, we're going to have to go ahead and uh, watch my video to get caught up and then continue from there to finish this omnibus. We have some sketches in the back of the Omni of oh, the sketchbook that was mentioned, right? Right. And then that's it, guys. All right. And we foreshadowed aliens. This is volume four for the original Marvel years. This is the regular cover. There is a DM variant for the direct market by Carlos Deanda. This one comes out on March 14th. Let's go to the spine. So it looks like it's going to be in line with all the other volumes, which is great. And then swinging onto the back. Let's see what it collects. So we have aliens fast track to heaven. We have aliens, Colonel Marines, no man left behind alien isolation. Aliens Defiance 1 through 12, Dead Orbit 1 through 4, Dust to Dust 1 through 4, Resistance 1 through 4, Rescue 1 through 4, the original screenplay for Alien 1 through 5, William Gibson's Alien 3, the unproduced screenplay, all five issues, and material from Dark Horse Presents 12 through 17, plus free comic book date 2016 Aliens. So kind of coming full circle with this Omni. 
you have some of the covers from those mini series on the back 125 dollars cover price as well and this will be the last volume so you're completing your library here with the classic alien stuff here's the inside of the dust jacket as always a biography on the book giving a shout out to all the creators here dan abnett all the way to stephen thompson beautiful wraparound cover i love how these old dark horse aliens books were able to convey the horror of the vastness of space i remember feeling uneasy reading a lot of this stuff i don't think i've gotten all the way up to this material but in reading what i had from those other collected editions from alien and terminator and predator uh it'll suck you in man so we have here's the credits got the table of contents they all kind of had these headers too from those other volumes if i recall all right so fast track to heaven look how it opens up it's so eerie right yeah i don't think i've read this stuff yet I, i've read a lot of dark horse aliens and uh it's they're great reads man if you're a fan of the movies in any way shape or form i think you're gonna really like the comics i love the current stuff from philip kennedy johnson and I wouldn't be surprised if we see an omnibus soon for that because they're already on volume two. Uh, although I don't remember how many issues volume one was. It couldn't have been more than 12. So you got that more mature, gritty type of artwork. You know, it's violent. It's it's uh, eerie and looming the way that alien movies feel. This hive looks cool. Very good, man. I would love to do a read through of all four volumes of this. Look at the artwork. The rain pouring down. Very good. Let's take a look and see what do we get as far as bonuses. It looks like we get a lot. So we're getting variant covers, sketches and colors. Carlos Deanda. There's Tristan Jones. Some more Tristan. Mac Chater. So we're going to get a lot of variant covers in the back of the book here. Some designs. Alien Queen, it looks like. And there we go, man. The final volume of the classic Alien material. All right, guys. And there we have it. A nice little six omnibus haul to help fill out the space in this library. A lot of good titles. However, I already own Deadpool and Cable, so we're going to go ahead and give that away over on Whatnot. Make sure you guys are following me over there because we do not only omnibus and statue giveaways, but we do comic book auctions starting at a dollar, 30 seconds or less, and it's a great time. I'm going to put the link to my Whatnot in the description and in the pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Stay minty fresh. Peace.